Hey guys, welcome back to Kara's Cakes. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me. This week, I'm going to be doing another bake with me and it's going to be lemon meringue cupcakes. There are three parts to this cupcake. You have the cupcake itself, the lemon curd in the center, and the meringue frosting on the top. If you want to bake along with me, screenshot this recipe card and follow along with my instructions and we can bake together. First off, I wanted to show you that this is what I'm using to zest my lemons. This is a microplane zester, but you could definitely use the smallest side of your cheese grater if you don't have a zester. And I also wanted to show you that it's a good idea to roll your lemons like this to get some of the juices out before you cut into them. You'll get some more lemon juice than normal when you do this. And I use a little um, sifter so I don't get the lemon seeds in my container, but you could definitely just use a big strainer and strain them as you go. First off, we're going to do the lemon curd. Look back at your recipe card for the exact measurements, but you're going to need sugar, salt, softened unsalted butter, lemon zest and juice, and egg yolks. First off, you're going to take all of your ingredients for your lemon curd, except your softened butter, just set that aside. So put all of the rest of the ingredients in a glass or stainless steel bowl and have a pot ready on the stove with two inches of water that was boiling. Turn that boiling water down to a simmer and it's going to act like a double broiler. I don't have a double broiler so I use this instead. Whisk together until thick. So this means that you're probably going to be whisking for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, if it doesn't become thick, then you will turn your heat up a little bit more and continue whisking until it does become thickened. As you can see here, it did get a lot thicker. So next you're going to remove from the heat take over to the side and add in your six tablespoons of butter a little bit at a time in six separate pieces. So they are softened pieces of butter. So you're gonna throw them in one at a time and mix it in until fully incorporated. Once all of the butter is fully incorporated, you're gonna take it over and put it in a different container to cool. I transferred my lemon curd to another bowl so it'll cool down faster. And then we're going to put saran wrap over the top. Make sure you put your saran wrap on so it's touching the curd and this will prevent a film from forming on the top. Pop that in the fridge until we finish the cupcakes. The next step is the lemon cupcakes. So you're going to make sure that your oven is preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to get your baking trays ready. For the lemon pound cake, you will need one cup of butter, softened, six large eggs, one cup of sour cream, three cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, two cups of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and zest and juice of two lemons. Take your softened butter and put that into your KitchenAid mixer with the paddle attachment and you're going to turn it on medium to high and beat it up until smooth. Once it's a little bit smoother, you can then add in your white sugar. Make sure you're continuously scraping down the sides so you don't get um, a butter clump down in the middle and you're going to whip that up until it's white and fluffy. Add your eggs one at a time, beating on low to medium for one minute after each addition. Alternately add your dry ingredients and your sour cream to your butter mixture until combined. I like to add the flour first, then go back and forth with the sour cream and always make sure to end with the sour cream. Lastly, add in your lemon juice and lemon zest and then scrape down the sides. Next, scoop your batter into the cupcake tins evenly. I like to use an ice cream scoop, but you could use a spoon as well. Just try to make them as even as possible. 
pop them in the oven and set the timer for 20 minutes. Um, you can continue to check depending on the heat of your oven, but try to bake them until a toothpick comes clean. Once the cupcakes are done, take them out of the oven and place them on the wire rack. Leave them in their pans for about 10 minutes to cool down. Then you can transfer to a wire rack to let cool completely. While the cupcakes are cooling, we can move on to the meringue frosting. Take all of the ingredients for the frosting, put in a heat proof bowl and set over simmering water. You're going to whisk the egg white sugar and cream of tartar until warm to touch and sugar is dissolved. The mixture should be frothy. Once the mixture is warm to touch, you can take it over and put it in your KitchenAid mixer with the whisk attachment and whisk on high. Whisk on high until you have glossy stiff peaks and I'm going to show you here what that looks like. Now that the three components of our lemon cupcakes are finished, we're going to take the fully cooled cupcakes and use a knife to cut little holes in the top. This is going to be for the lemon curd. I used a piping bag for my lemon curd, but you could definitely just use a spoon and spoon it into the little holes. You can see here that the lemon curd got a lot thicker by sitting in the fridge for a few hours. Um, so this will sit in the cupcakes nicely and it won't run out. So I'm just going to add a little dollop of lemon curd into each little hole. You don't want to bring it up too far because you don't want it to run into the frosting when we add that. Next I'm getting another piping bag with a piping tip ready for my meringue frosting. If you don't have these tools, you could definitely just put some on the top with a spoon. It will taste the exact same, it'll just look a little bit different. In a lot of the pictures I saw online when I was looking for inspiration for these cupcakes, a lot of the pictures had the meringue frosting on the top and then they torched it so it looked a lot like a lemon meringue pie. I didn't have a torch, but if you have a kitchen torch or something like that, you could definitely torch the top of these to make them look even better. I only put tiny little bits on top of each cupcake. I didn't put as much frosting as I normally would put on a cupcake because I didn't double the recipe. If you want bigger dollops of meringue frosting on your lemon cupcakes, definitely double the frosting recipe. I knew that I wasn't going to have enough to put on more than these cupcakes, so I just put little blobs on. If you want them higher and you want to torch them and make them look really good, definitely double the meringue recipe. Our lemon meringue cupcakes are all finished. If you wanted to try these out, make sure to take a picture and post it on Instagram and tag me at Kara Bakes Cakes. Hope you enjoyed my lemon meringue cupcake video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new videos from me. Click here to watch my last Bake With Me video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.